Uh, g'day everyone. In today's video I'm just going to have a look at the uh, the Seiko 88 or 8800 uh, series stopwatches. So I had the opportunity to get one of these at, uh, at the right price and uh, decided to pick it up. Um, I've had well, I've got a Targ Heuer stopwatch as well but I hadn't uh, had one of the Seiko ones before so it's um, pretty interesting. But um, basically in a nutshell what they are is like a pocket watch movement that you can start and stop so you grab them by the crown there and wind them up and I'll just take it to full wind eventually there we go so let's just reach full wind now to start and stop you just press that there and there she goes. So it's got a counter up to 30 minutes. That's as long as they time for. And then they just start all over again. Um, they don't have any split time functionality on them. So basically it's they're very simple. And you should see that start to go across there. So it doesn't uh, click firmly or anything like that. Um, the way it works is it just slowly accumulates. It's just driven by the gear train and uh, just moves forward like that. And uh, yeah, these are, uh, they time down to one fifth of a second. So the hand ticks once, well, five times a second. And you'll see there, it's just come across to one minute now. And yeah, it's recorded a minute. So to stop it, you just press that there. And the button there resets it. This is a little bit sticky because it does need a service. And we'll just start him again. Now I think they made these movements for quite a while, like from the mid 60s until probably probably the 80s or something like that. Uh, not 100% sure, I'd have to look it up. But yeah, um, this one came on the stock lanyard as well, which was in good condition. So you can see what they've done there. The knot that they've put in there is quite interesting. So it's got some sort of pumpy, pumpy thing in there, which they've uh, wrapped it around and they've put uh, some sort of complex knot. And yeah, the rest is not so interesting, it just ends like that. Uh, the cases on these are uh, uh, chrome plated uh, brass. If we pop it over the back there. You can see there. And I can't read Japanese, but if anyone can, just put in the comments what that actually says. Um, what I'll do now is I'll just pop the back off and we'll just have a look in the movement inside. And there's the movement running there. So you can see the, um, the pallet cock there with the balance. You can see the escape wheel in there. And if we just look on the sides there, you can see some more of the gear train. So when we stop it, it's not much to see, but it just stops the balance. Uh, there's the stop lever there. You can just see that just next to my thumb there. And then when we reset, oh, hang on, we've got to stop that first. There we go. So I'm just trying to, that's it there. So when you wind it, <coughs> excuse me, when you wind it, that winds through there and you've got your barrel under there and the ratchet wheel is right there. So they're a pretty basic movement. They're certainly um, a lot less complicated than the, the Tag Heuer 
well, it's actually not tag wear, it's wear only. Um, stopwatch that I've stopwatches that I've got here. But they also do split time, so they're a more complex movement. Actually you see the the wheels moving there. And at some point when I get around to servicing this, I'll do a video of pulling it apart. I think you can get these at pretty good prices on uh, eBay and other auction type sites. Uh, they're probably limited use day to day, but they're pretty cool to have. Um, dual count wires, I think, what are they? It says on there, there are seven dual. <clears throat> so that's a, probably about the minimum that you can get away with in a movement like this. Inside the case back, there's no real finish to it. They're just um, spun. I don't know why there's some welding there. I guess that was to uh, put something on, but I couldn't tell you what. Yeah, so there you have it. The ultra quick look at the uh, 8800 movement, which is the, uh, the Seiko stopwatch movement. Alright, thanks for watching and uh, I'll get some other stuff out soon.